everyone. This is Professor Rajesh uh, from Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore. Today I'll be explaining about nested for loop. Nested for loop is a feature in C that allows the looping of statement inside another loop. Uh, we will use nested for loop for a tabular data. The syntax of nested for loop is as shown in the diag diagram. We'll be having a for loop, open braces and a close braces. Inside this for loop, we'll be placing one more for loop with open and closed braces. Uh, these are the statement which belongs to the inner for loop and this is the statement which belongs to the outer for loop. You can see this is your outer for loop and this is your inner for loop. Let us see the working principle. How does this nested for loop works? First of all, the outer for loop, this is a skeletal structure. I've just given the skeletal structure over here. First, variable will be initialized. I is a variable which is initialized with the value zero. Then we are going to check the condition. Here the condition is I less than two. That is zero less than two. If the condition is true, it will enter inside the outer for loop. Now we are entering, once we enter inside the outer for loop, uh, there is a, one more for loop present over here that is called as inner for loop. I'll be initializing the variable which belongs to the inner for loop. Now J is initialized with the value zero. Then I'll be checking for the condition. The condition is J less than three. Is zero less than three. Yes, zero is less than three. If the condition is true, the statement belonging to the inner for loop will be executed. Now the statement belonging to the inner for loop is, I, I have to print hello world on the monitor screen. So hello will be printed on the output screen. Once hello is printed on the output screen, I will increment the inner for loop. When I increment the inner for loop, the J value will become one. Again, I'll check for the condition. After incrementing the inner for loop, I'll check for the condition. Here the condition is one is less than three. Is the condition true? Yes, the condition is true. So what we have to do, we have to execute the statement belonging to the inner for loop. What is the statement belonging to the inner for loop? Hello is the statement. So hello will be printed again on the monitor screen. Again, we'll increment the inner for loop. I value will become two. I'll check for the condition two is less than three. Yes, two is less than three. Again, I'll be printing one more hello on the monitor screen. After printing the statement, I'll increment the J value, J will become three. I'll check for the condition three is less than three. The condition is false. When this condition is false, it will check whether there is a statement belonging to the outer for loop. Here we have a written a statement called as printf high. So this particular statement will be printed. High will be printed on the monitor screen. After printing I, the outer for loop gets incremented. The outer for loop gets incremented. Initially, the outer for loop value, I value was zero. Now Y value will become one. It will check for the condition is zero less than two. When the condition is true, again, it will enter into inside the outer for loop. When it enters into the outside outer for loop, it will see the inner for loop. In the inner for loop, again, it starts with initialization J is equals to zero. Again, I'll check for the condition is zero less than three. Yes, zero is less than three. So it will be printing hello. Again, increment take place, J will become one. It'll check for the condition J is one is less than three. Yes, it will print one more alert. Again, it will increment uh, J value. J value will become two. It'll check for the condition two is less than three. Yes, the condition is true. Again, it will print one more hello. Again, it will increment J will become three. Three is less than three. When the condition is false, it will just check whether there is any statement belonging to the outer for loop. Yes, there is a statement called as printf i. I will be printed, then I gets incremented. Now I will become two. It will check for the condition, two less than two, condition is false, then it will come out of the outer for loop. So how does the nested for loop works has been shown over here. And, and only when the condition in the outer for loop becomes false, it will come out of the nested for loop. This is a working principle of nested for loop. Uh, let us take some more examples and uh, revise what is nested for loop, how it works. The very first example here is, I'll be printing i and j value. I'll be printing i and j value. So we start the program by writing uh, ash include stihivo.h header file. And we start the program by writing void main, open and close braces. All the statements should be written inside this open and clo uh, close braces. First, I'm declaring a variable i and j. I'll be using a variable i and j because I'm using two for loop. As we know that, we'll start with for uh, out of for loop for i is equal to zero. And we'll check for the condition here uh, you can see the number of passes i've taken it as passes passes is nothing but how many times out of for loop will be executed or how many times out of for loop will be iter uh, iteration of out of for loop will be done 
and uh, pass one in outer for loop i is equal to zero zero is less than two we are checking for the condition is the condition true yes the condition is true when the condition is true what we have to do we have to enter into the inner for loop inner for loop what we will do is we'll initialize the j value j is zero and we'll check for the condition zero less than two is zero less than two yes true it is true you can see the tracing part over here zero is less than two the condition is true when the condition is true what i have to do i have to print print in the sense i'll be printing here i and j value what is initial value you can see uh, out of all of the initial value was zero j value is zero so i'll be printing zero zero on the output screen so you can observe here i have printed zero zero on the output screen after printing zero zero on the output screen i will increment the value of j when the value of j gets incremented j value will become one uh, then later on after incrementing the value of j what i have to do i have to check for the condition again condition is one less than two is one less than two yes it is true then again i'll come i'll execute the inner for loop statement inside the inner for loop statement again i have to print i and j value where you can observe that the i value remains the same i value is zero where the j value is upgraded to one so when i'm printing the state so when i'm executing this particular statement it will print zero and one again j gets incremented when j gets incremented j will become two i'll check for the condition two is less than two is two less than two false false in the sense it will check is there any other statement belonging to the outer for loop see you can observe open and cl close flower basis is there any other statements there is no statements present so what it will do is it will go for it will increment the outer for loop it goes to the outer for loop it will increment the outer for loop when it in in increments the outer for loop after incrementing the outer for loop it will check for the condition here yeah, the condition is what one is less than two yes the condition is true when the condition is true what we will do we'll enter into the outer for loop the very first year uh, inside the inner for loop what we'll do we'll initialize the variable j is equal to zero we'll check for the condition zero less than two yes the condition is true again we have to execute this statement when i execute this particular statement i'm printing i and j value you can observe here the updated i value is one and the j value is initialized to zero so one and zero gets printed on the screen you can observe here then j gets incremented j will become one when j becomes once again it will check for the condition is one less than two yes one is less than two so what happens when the condition is true this particular statement should be executed a printer statement should be executed again what is i value updated i value is one what is updated j value one so one and one will be printed on the monitor screen again j gets incremented j will become two it will check for the condition two is less than two false if the condition is false what happens it comes out of the outer for loop it it comes out of the inner i mean inner for loop and it goes to the outer for loop when it goes to the outer for loop it increments the i value i value will become two it will check for the condition two is less than two is the condition true no false when this particular condition becomes false it will come out of the nested for loop it will come to this particular line of the main program where there is nothing present over here we have just put the end braces over here so on the output screen you can observe the output as 00 01 10 11 this about your nested for loop now your uh, just a, sh a short uh, revision here this i is less than 2 is the iterations which tells how many times the outer for loop should be executed based on this iteration the next the outer for loop will be executed two times again this is the iteration for the inner for loop this tells how many times the inner for loop should be executed based on this iteration our condition will be executing two times this inner for loop okay now let us see one more example um, printing a pattern using nested for loop now what is the pattern now you can see down here i've i've printed a pattern i want the pattern to be printed in this manner one star then two star then three star and i require a space between the star when when i'm printing a pattern how do we what is the logic behind this particular program for ex, uh, here you can observe there are uh, three rows that is uh, the first row second row and third row in first row i'll be printing one star in the second row i'll be printing two star and third row i'll be printing a uh, three star so the outer for loop the uh, uh, tells about the total number of iteration is required or total number of times i have to loop in order to print this first time when i enter into the inner for loop with the help of inner for loop i'll be printing one star second time when i enter into the inner for loop when i enter into the for loop i mean the 
outer for loop I'll, with the help of the inner for loop i'll be printing true star third time when i enter uh, inside the outer for loop uh, with the help of the inner for loop i'll be printing three stars let us see how the program works uh, the program starts with header file and we have a main program void main open braces and the close braces these are the statements belonging to this particular program the very first line is declaring the variable i'm using two variable i and j is a variable which is of the time integer, integer which has been declared i'll be starting with the outer for loop by initializing i value is equals to zero yes i value is zero i'll be checking for the condition zero less than three is the condition true yes i'll be entering uh, inside the outer for loop when i en enter inside the outer for loop i'll uh, i'll be uh, executing the inner for loop in the inner for loop we are initializing the j value as zero and we have applied the condition here the condition here is j is less than or equal to i initially what is our i value zero we'll be checking and we have initialized the value of j as zero zero is less than or equal to zero yes the condition is true when the condition is true what happens we have to execute the statement belonging to the inner for loop what is the statement belonging to the inner for loop i have to print a star and a tab space should be provided so on the output screen you can observe here a star is printed a tab space is not visible to us which has been provided after printing this i will increment the inner for loop when i increment the inner for loop j value will become one then after incrementing the inner for loop i'll check for the condition what is the condition here one is less than or equal to zero is the condition true the condition is false when the inner for loop condition becomes false we will check whether there is any statement belonging to the outer for loop what is the statement belonging to the outer for loop printf slash n the meaning of this is go to the next line you can observe here i've just uh, when as soon as you come to printf slash n it's just an arrow mark indication telling that i'm moving towards the next line next line after moving towards the next line i will increment the i value initially the i value was zero now when i increment in the past two what happens the i value will become one i'll check for the condition here the condition is here the condition is one is less than three is the condition true yes the condition is true when the condition is true what happens i will execute into the inner for loop inside the inner for loop again i will start with initialization j is equals to zero yes we have initialized the value of j is zero and we'll check for the condition zero less than or equal to i value see students here i value has been updated to one zero is less than or equal to one yes the condition is true when the condition is true what i'll do i'll print one more star i'll print one more star increment the j value when i increment the j value j value will become one after incrementing the j value i'll be checking for the condition the condition is one is less than or equal to one yes one is equal to one right the condition is true i'll be printing one more per star you can observe here one more star has been printed again j gets incremented j will become two i'll check for the condition two is less than or equal to one it is false so what happens if the inner for loop condition is false i'll be executing the statement belonging to the outer for loop what is the statement belonging to the outer for loop i have to go to the new line slash a new line so this i've just showed with an arrow mark we are going to the new line after that i will increment the i value now when i increment the i value i value will become two i'll check for the condition two is less than three yes two is less than three then again i'll enter into the outer for loop in when i enter into the outer for loop i'll be uh, the very first statement is the inner for loop i'll initialize j is equals to zero yes i'll check for the condition zero less than or equal to two yes it is true when it is true what happens a prayer statement executed this year in the statement i'll be printing one star a tab space will be provided j gets incremented j will become one i'll check for the condition one is less than or equal to two yes the condition is true i'll be printing one more star and a tab space is provided j gets incremented j will become two two is less than or equal to two yes the condition is true i'll be printing one more star and again i'll increment j value j will become three is three less than or equal to two the condition is false when the condition is false we know that when the inner for loop condition is false we'll execute the statement belonging to the outer for loop so slash in i'll be going to the next line 
then increment i value now when i go to the outer loop for loop and increment the i value i value will become 3 and 3 is less than 3 is the condition true no the condition is false when this particular outer loop condition becomes false will come out of the outer for loop which part will be coming to this particular line where there is no statement present so when we exit i mean when we exit uh, when we exit uh, this is the end of the program uh, where we are printed this particular pattern so how many passes we had pa in pass one i printed one star in pass two we printed two star in pass three we printed three star so the outer for loop is three time iteration takes place pass one pass two pass three inner for loop first time it when inner for loop when it prints one star at the first time one loop takes place again in the second pass inner for loop executes two times and in the third pass inner for loop executes three times okay this is about uh, printing a pattern using nested for loop uh, let us see one more example uh, printing a pattern using nested for loop here the pattern is in uh, the totally uh, the reverse manner of the previous pattern in the first pass i have to print uh, uh, three stars in the second pass i'm printing two star and in the last pass i'm printing one star now basically all this is because of some condition we should have applied a condition that is uh, as soon as i enter into the inner for loop with the help of the inner for loop i have to print three star again when i enter into the inner for loop i'll be printing two star at last i'll be printing one star how does this program works so again uh, we are starting the program by writing an header file void main open braces close braces these are the statements uh, written inside this uh, main main function so the variable the very first line is uh, declaring a variable the variable i'll be using is i and j is the variable i'll be using and here i'm starting with i is equals to 3 i'm initializing the i is equals to 3 why uh, the main reason here is you can observe three stars i wanted to print at the initial point so how do i do it by initializing there are by initializing i is 3 i'll check for the condition is 3 greater than 0 obviously 3 is greater than 0 when i enter into the inner for loop as we want three stars to be printed what what is the condition this condition what you have to observe the condition here now as soon as i enter into the outer for loop there is a for loop present here inner for loop i'll initialize j value 0 i'll check for the condition 0 less than 3 yes zero is less than three when zero is less, when the condition is true what happens i'll be printing one star i have printed one star on the monitor screen j gets incremented when j gets incremented j will become one again i'm checking for the condition one is less than three yes true it is true then what happens i have to print one more star yes one more star is printed again j gets incremented j will become two again i'm checking for the condition two is less than three what happens i'll be printing one more star three stars printed again i'll be incrementing j j will become three is three less than three the condition is false since we declared we initialized i value as three uh, the inner for loop executed three times that's the reason we could we could be able to print three stars over here when the condition becomes false uh, we have to execute execute the statement belonging to the outer for loop what is the statement belonging to the outer for loop slash n i'll be going to the next line after going to the next line i will decrement the i value because the second time when i enter into the outer for loop i have to print only two star when i decrement the, uh, the i value i will become two when i becomes two i'll check for the condition two is greater than zero yes the condition is true again i will enter into the inner for loop in the inner for loop again we'll, we will initialize the j value we will initialize the j value to zero uh, j is equal to 0 we'll check for the condition 0 less than uh, 2 is 0 less than 2 yes it is true when the condition is true one star has been printed and j gets incremented uh, j value will become 1 and i'll check for the condition uh, 1 is less than 2 yes the condition is true one more star will be printed again j gets incremented it will check for the condition 2 is less than 2 condition is false then if the condition is false the statement belonging to the outer for loop slash in i'll be moving towards the next line then what happens i will decrement the i value now when i decrement the i value i value will become one i'll check for the condition one is greater than zero yes i'll enter into the outer for loop then in the inner for loop j is equal to zero i'm initializing the j value as zero and i'm checking condition zero is less than one yes true when it is true what happens i'll be printing one star 
then again j gets incremented uh, j will be 1 i'll check for the condition 1 is less than 1 no it is false when the condition is false what happens we have to print we have to go to the next line i'll be going to the next line and again i'll decrement the i value i will become 0 i'll check for the condition 0 is less than 0 false so when the condition becomes false, the outer loop condition becomes false, we'll come out of the nested for loop, we'll come to this particular line, there is no statement present over here, we'll stop the program and your output will be this one. So here what the observation what we have made is the number of passes, that is the number of times the outer for loop executed was three times. In the first pass, the inner for loop executed three times and it printed three star. The second pass, the inner for loop executed two times but it printed two star. The third pass, the inner for loop executed one time and it printed one star. This is about nested for loop. Thank you.